The Soviet T-90S was initially conceived as an export version of the T-90 third generation main battle tank. However, the powerful iteration of the classic model exceeded all expectations, quickly establishing itself among the top choices of several defense ministries worldwide. The Russian-built tank evolved from the T-Series, developed by the Ural Govonsovod firm. And while the specialized variant was not truly custom-made for the Russian defense, it still became a significant part of the Russian ground forces. In early 2023, images surfaced on social media indicating that a new buyer had shown interest in the remarkable vehicle and acquired a fresh batch to deploy in the ongoing conflict in Europe. However, the buyer was not a defense contractor, but rather a group of mercenaries. One size fits all. The T-90 is a third generation main battle tank developed by the Russian original firm Ural Govonsovod in Nizhny Tagal. It was developed from the T-72 with the initial aim of replacing the T-64, T-72 and T-80 with a single vehicle. The platform was chosen due to its simplicity, automotive qualities and cost effectiveness. Two parallel proposals emerged from the concept, resulting in Object 188, a relatively simple upgrade, and Object 187, a much more advanced variant that has not been declassified to this day. The first prototypes were completed in 1988, with the integration of the 1A45 fire control system of the T-80U. By 1990, an improved variant called the T-72BU was introduced, and less than a year later, the Army adopted Object 188. Low-level production of the new tank began in 1992, with the Siberian military district having 107 examples by the fall of 1995. And before an upgraded version took over, no more than 120 T-90 tanks were produced for the Russian ground forces. Notably, domestic demand for the vehicle was tapering by the end of the decade and virtually ceased altogether in the native market. As a result, Ural Govonsovod received direct approval from the government to export the T-90. The Russian T-Series then evolved into the advanced T-90S main battle tank, which entered service in 1992. As an enhanced version of the line, the newest iteration offered increased firepower, mobility, and protection. International hit. The T-90S found a major buyer in 2001 when the Indian Army signed a contract for no less than 310 examples, 124 of which would be completed in Russia, while the rest were delivered in knockdown form to be assembled and finalized by the purchaser. The first MBTs arrived in India three years later, and those that were put together domestically were given the moniker Bhishma. The Indian Bhishmas were equipped with the Stora self-protection system and the French Catherine thermal imagers produced by the firm Thales. By the fall of 2009, the first 10 Russian Indian tanks were inducted into the Indian Army. Meanwhile, Russia had around 200 T-90Ss and contracted Thales to supply 100 Catherine thermal imager systems for its vehicles. Soon, other countries became interested in the T-90S. Algeria bought 180 from Ural Govonsovod and another 200 original T-90s in kit form while Uganda equipped its armed forces with 44 models. Moreover, the Greek Cypriot government approved an order for 41 T-90 MBTs from Russia, but changed its plans and instead procured the T-80. Other buyers include Iraq, which acquired 73 examples, Saudi Arabia with 150, Turkmenistan with 10, Vietnam with 64, and Egypt with 500. To this day, the Indian Army operates 1,100 T-90S MBTs, of which 330 were license-built by heavy vehicle factory Avari Tamil Nadu, while 300 were directly procured from Russia. The Indian Ministry of Defense also ordered 464 additional tanks from the HVF. Under contract, Ural Govonsovod and Rosoboron Export, a state-owned Russian defense company, will have to deliver the order by 2023 in exchange for over $3 billion. After the Russian army resumed delivering the original T-90 with a cast turret, which required large capital investment to set up production, 
the Ministry of Defense instead opted for a smaller configuration to the Indian variant. In fact, the new T-90 was quickly accepted into service, even skipping trials. Specifications In 2012, Russia was able to manufacture third-generation Catherine XP cameras. Coupled with the more modern Irbis K night vision sighting system with a range of over 3 kilometers, the T-Series significantly evolved. By 2007, 334 examples of the T-90 alone served in the Russian ground forces, and an additional 62 tanks were delivered yearly until 2011. The T-90S engine is the V-84MS, a four-stroke V-12 piston-engined and liquid-cooled model capable of producing 840 horsepower. It can be fed by T-2 or TS-1 kerosene, A-72 benzene, or diesel, which is carried by a reinforced main fuel tank and drums with a capacity of up to 1,600 liters. The mechanical transmission includes two planetary final gearboxes and two planetary final drivers, in addition to the primary reduction gear. In turn, the running gear features torsion bar suspension with hydraulic shock absorbers at one, two, and six road wheel stations. Plus, the tracks have rubber metallic pin hinges. Protected by both conventional armor plating and explosive reactive armor, the T-90S is also fitted with a Russian-made Shatora-1 defensive aid suite, featuring an infrared jammer, laser warning system with four receivers, discharging grenade system with an aerosol screen, and a computerized control system. Moreover, the tank's protection includes nuclear, biological, and chemical equipment. As for its fire control system, the vehicle uses an automatic 1A4GT integrated FCS, which nonetheless offers a manual override mode for the commander. The system contains the gunner's A143 day fire control system, the gunner's T01 K01 thermal imaging site with a target identification range of 1.2 kilometers to 1.5 kilometers, and also the commander's PNKS site. Firepower. The T-90S is designed to engage tanks fitted with explosive reactive armor and low-flying aerial targets at a range of up to 5,000 meters. In terms of the armament, the T-90S showcases a two-axis 125mm 2A46M smoothbore gun and thermal sleeve. Notably, it is possible to replace the gun tube easily, eliminating the need to dismantle anything inside the turret. Regarding ammunition, the gun can fire armor-piercing discarding Sabo, high-explosive anti-tank, high-explosive fragmentation, as well as shrapnel projectiles with time fuses. Likewise, it can launch the 9M119 Reflex Anti-Tank Guided Missile System, designated AT-11 Sniper by NATO, or the 9M119M. The AT-11 Sniper has a range of 100 to 4,000 meters and takes only 11.7 seconds to reach its maximum capacity. The 23.4 kilogram missiles have semi-automatic laser beam riding guidance and a hollow charge warhead. And for easier handling, the automatic loader can feed either ordnance or missiles. Similarly, the T-90S carries a coaxial 7.62mm PKT machine gun and 12.7mm air defense machine gun, as well as a 5.45mm AKS-74 assault rifle on a storage rack. Putin chef. It is said that the first early T-90S saw combat action in 1999 during the Chechen invasion of Dagestan. Instead of being delivered to India, the tank served in real combat against rocket-propelled grenades. While some critics assure the tank can be knocked out by only three or four hits from RPGs, other sources maintain that it can remain in action even after seven hits. In fact, Moscow Defense Brief described the tank as the best protected in all of Russia. Years later, the tank took part in the Russo-Ukrainian War in 2014 and the Syrian Civil War in 2015. But it was recently reported that the infamous Russian Wagner Group received a batch of its own. The group is often described as a private military company, a network of mercenaries, or a de facto private army of the Russian president. As a paramilitary organization owned by a close friend of Russian mandatory Vladimir Putin, the so-called Putin chef Yevgeny Prigozhin, the group enjoys the support of the Kremlin, 
and now it is equipped with its own Bhishmas, as shown in images across social media. The initial export variant developed for the Indian Army and the global defense market quickly became one of Russia's most successful export products in the industry. Moreover, it arguably remains the most commercially successful export tank of its time. However, as of early 2023, the Russian armed forces have reportedly lost at least three export-centered T-90S tanks in the Ukrainian conflict. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Dark Tech for many more recent military advancements. Also, be sure to check out the rest of our Dark Documentaries channels, and don't forget to activate the notification bell to stay tuned for our latest updates.